want to run through the most basic and important photo editing adjustments in Photoshop really quick so that you can get right through them. Uh, just a little reminder. So first I'm going to create new down in the corner and um, I know that my photo's in portrait mode so I, or portrait format. So I'm going to choose that and create that right here. Um, I have my layers all tucked away right now, but probably, you know, you could have them like that or you could have them like this. I'm going to open up my photo from my files. I usually put the ones I'm going to use in my favorites so I, they're easier to find. That looks good. Okay, then I can tuck that away. So now um, what we're going to do with the adjustments, first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my layer. Now I'm going to do some adjustments on here. That it's one way of seeing how your um, your photo adjustments are going to um, make an impact. It's only one way. So first thing we can do right here is um, there's two ways to get to your adjustments. You can click on the three dots and choose Add Clipped Adjustment, or you can do it through the little sliders right here. Add Clipped Adjustment. So the let me slide this over a little bit add clipped adjustment. First one we're going to add is levels. Levels has um, is a balance of the lights and darks and the values uh, from very lightest to very darkest. You want it to touch down on both ends of these right here. Okay, if the, pic the picture doesn't do that, if this arc doesn't touch down on both ends, you're going to slide in the end until it does. If it does, like in this case, Sometimes you want to move this left or right of center to get a little more contrast in there. Like I sometimes like it a little bit right of center. Okay, so then you could um, go ahead and cap, uh, collapse that and um, go back to your main photo layer. And then you might want to investigate adding another one. So another one you might want to look at is um, color balance okay color balance is a slider that you can use you might interpret this as the warmth or the coolness you can adjust each one of these individually okay so that's another nice one and you can just collapse that okay when you get back on your photo layer then you can add one. Maybe you were looking for it if you were up here and you're like, but wait, I want to add another. Got to look at your layers palette and make sure you are on a photo layer. Another one people like to use is curves. Curves can be a little mystifying because maybe if you just grab this and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Wah! Okay. So in general, you're going to start a curves adjustment by making it look like an S. So you're going to bring the line forward forward. It's a very subtle movement, by the way, and I'm not really good at it. You want to make this look like an S. See? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not super good at that one, and you can tweak it a lot, um, and there's different things up here. You might want your photo to look like that. I Not so much. So I would probably um, go back and get rid of Curves, well, that's probably not the way to do it. I'll reset and then I'll just minimize that. Okay, and then let's see, one last um, adjustment to look at would be, oops, I didn't mean to collapse that. Um, let's try hue saturation it is always a good one too. So this is going to, actually, this is really good because hue is going to change the overall tone of everything unless you have a selection. Saturation, this is like going to the left, is like squeezing out a sponge, making your um, color less and less and less, or super, super, duper, duper, duper dripping with color. Okay, so let's like leave it up there for a second. This, I don't suggest playing with. I've never saw any good reason to mess with that. Okay, so that was about in the middle. So we have it on <coughs> saturation right now. One of the wonderful things you can do is combine those adjustments with a layer mask. So over here along the side, I'll try to do it. Yes. Okay. So over here, if you click on this mask right here, 
like. Oh, I hope I'm on the right one. I thought it was on this one. Am I on? Nope, that's levels. Okay, it is this one. Clicking on a mask, clicking off the mask, clicking on a mask. Now I'm going to get a black paintbrush. And should be that we're, oh, yep, it's really tiny. Let's get a gradient. Much bigger. And wherever I draw this, should be able to see how it affects what's underneath it. And then you can slide your, your gradient mask back and forth. So you can see. If I turn it off, you can see uh, even more. This has got a lot in our way okay so you see what that mask is doing uh, there well, like look at the sky big difference okay so um adjustment layers a, are something you can do to the um photos for your basic photo adjustment so we're not really making um atomic or altered reality landscapes um, we're just doing basic photo adjustments, so you want to be really careful. Um, like the color adjustments I made, I don't think are very helpful. That's a lot better. You're just looking for basic things like crop. So here's that one. You know, bringing in the edges. Maybe you decide that it would be better. I don't necessarily think this is a good idea, but what if you decided that um, you can't bear the sight of sheep anymore? So you bring that up and you go like that. And you say done. I change this a picture a lot. Okay, and then what if you look at this and you're like, that's the worst artistic mistake I've ever made? You can just hit undo and there are the sheep back again. Okay? Or what if you decide to crop this? Um, you want it to be really dramatic. So you, you know, go like this and you bring it down a little like this, and it's actually this isn't dramatic, this is more like phone scale, right? Phone wallpaper. Okay, so there's that kind of crap. All right, see where I'm going with this? Okay, so basic um, photo editing, crop, levels, color, uh, brightness.